During the adoption hearing, a boy revealed to the court that he had been fostered by a woman for many years. Sarah Kozat and Stuart Shank are a compassionate couple who have been fostering children for several years. Sarah's deep-rooted passion for aiding children in need has led her to take great pride in offering them a secure and affectionate home. Michael is one of the children who has been fostered by Sarah. His parents were unable to care for him, which led to his placement in foster care. At the tender age of three, Michael was first introduced to Sarah's home, and understandably, he was hesitant about living with someone he didn't know. Upon his arrival at Sarah's home, Michael was overwhelmed with fear and uncertainty about his new surroundings. Having experienced much turmoil in his young life, transitioning to a new home proved to be a daunting task for him. Adjusting to the new rules and routines posed a significant challenge for Michael. Michael frequently acted out of frustration, but Sarah was patient with him, recognizing that his behavior was a manifestation of the trauma he had endured. Despite the difficulties, Sarah persisted tirelessly in her efforts to establish a secure and affectionate atmosphere for Michael. Sarah ensured that Michael's every need was met, from clean clothing to nutritious meals. In addition, she made a concerted effort to familiarize herself with Michael's interests, taking him on excursions to museums and parks and spending time with him at home playing games. Over time, Michael began to feel more comfortable in his new home. He formed a special bond with Sarah, seeing her as a source of comfort and support. They shared many heartwarming moments together, from cooking dinner together to watching movies on the couch. Michael even started to open up to Sarah about his feelings and past experiences, something that he had never done before. Despite the challenges that come with fostering, Sarah was committed to providing Michael with a safe and nurturing environment. She was patient and compassionate, working tirelessly to ensure that Michael's needs were met. As Michael grew older, Sarah continued to support him in any way she could, always, with the hope that he would eventually be reunited with his biological family. However, as time went on, it became clear that this dream was not in Michael's future. In addition to Michael's new family situation, he had also been separated from his older brother. Months had passed since Michael had seen his brother Deshaun, who had been placed in a separate foster home. Sarah had been working hard to facilitate visits between the two siblings, knowing how important it was for them to maintain their relationship. And finally, the day of the much anticipated sibling visit arrived. Michael woke up early that morning, unable to contain his excitement. He knew that he would get to see his big brother Deshaun, and he could hardly wait. Sarah helped him get ready, making sure he looked his best for the occasion when they arrived at the park where the visit was scheduled to take place. Michael's eyes dotted the round in search of his brother, and then finally he caught a glimpse of him from across the playground. Without hesitation, Michael ran as fast as he could and jumped into his brother's arms. The two siblings hugged tightly, tears streaming down their faces. Deshaun looked up at Sarah and smiled, mouthing the words, thank you. It was a moment that Sarah would never forget. For Deshaun, the visit was a chance to reconnect with someone who had been a constant in his life, even during the most difficult times. His brother was someone he could laugh and play with, someone who understood what he had been through. It was a reminder that despite everything, he was not alone. For Sarah, watching this reunion unfold was a powerful reminder of the importance of foster care. She knew that Michael's life would be forever changed by the love and support he had received in her home. And as you watched the two brothers embrace, she knew that this was what it was all about, creating a sense of family, even in the most difficult circumstances. That's when she realized they needed to be together, and she needed to foster both of them. Initially, Sarah had reservations about fostering an older child as Deshaun was 10, but upon meeting him, she quickly formed a strong bond with him and became his foster mother with ease. While the couple prioritized supporting reunification efforts as foster parents, they eventually faced a challenging and emotionally turbulent journey when deciding to adopt the boys, which was not their original plan. Throughout the process, they struggled with conflicting emotions and were torn between the desire to reunite the children with their families and the wish to adopt them. So when the day of adoption finally arrived, they were extremely nervous. What would the judge say? It could go either way. 
Sarah and Deshawn were sitting in the courthouse waiting for the judge to enter the room. They sat side by side, holding hands tightly their nerves on edge. This was the day they had been waiting for, today when the boy's future would be decided. Sarah's hearts were racing as she thought about all the time she had spent with Deshawn and Michael. She had watched them grow and flourish under her care and she couldn't bear the thought of them leaving her. Michael too was feeling anxious. He had never known a life without Sarah, and the idea of not having her in his life was almost unbearable. As they waited, the tension in the room grew. Every passing minute felt like an eternity, and Sarah and Deshawn's nerves were afraid. They knew that the judge's decision would change their lives forever, and they couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the gravity of the situation. Finally, the judge entered the room and the proceedings began. Sarah listened intently as the judge reviewed her case outlining the reasons why Deshawn and Michael's interests would be best served by staying with Sarah and Stuart. She held her breath as the judge took a long pause deliberating over her decision as the tension in the room mounted. Deshawn squeezed Sarah's hand tightly. He could feel his heart pounding in his chest and he could see the fear and anxiety etched on Sarah's face. And then finally, the judge spoke. Deshawn, the judge said, before I make my final decision, is there anything you would like to say? Deshawn took a deep breath and looked up at the judge. Yes, your honor. He said they all love us. Deshawn told the judge speaking about himself and his brother, who was also adopted that day. We love them. Our whole family is the best thing we ever had. I'm glad to have these people in my life. I'm glad to be their son. They're the best thing I ever had. If I could wish for anything in the world, I would wish I could just love these people for the rest of my life. There was a collective gasp in the courtroom as Deshawn's words sank in. Sarah was overcome with emotion, tears streaming down her face. The judge smiled, clearly moved by Deshawn's heartfelt words. I don't think I need to say anything more. The judge said, it is clear that Deshawn has found a loving home with you, and I'm happy to announce that the adoption is granted. The courtroom erupted in applause as Sarah hugged Deshawn, tightly grateful for the love and affection he had brought into her life. It was a moment they would both cherish forever. After the hearing, the family of four walked out of the courtroom hand in hand, both overjoyed at the judge's decision. As they embraced each other tightly, tears of happiness streamed down their faces. For Sarah, the feeling of relief and joy was overpowering. She had invested her heart and soul into fostering Michael and Deshawn and had hoped for the adoption to be approved. Now, finally, she could call them her sons and offer them the permanent home they deserved. As they left the courthouse, Deshawn planted a tender kiss on Michael's forehead. Sarah observed that Deshawn's connection with his brother had deepened significantly since their reunion, and she felt grateful for the strong bond that had formed between them, as well as between herself, Stuart, Deshawn, and Michael. Everything has changed and nothing has changed since Adoption Day. Coz had said they had been living as a family, but now it is official. What do you think about this story? Let us know in the comments section. I hope you liked this video. Please share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.